Hey, I got a question for you. I'm on the daily grind. I'm taking care of work. I'm getting paid today. I'm doing things to make it right. Is your money working for you? Or are you working for money? It's the life, it's the life I need. Welcome to the crypto lifestyle, the lifestyle where your money works for you instead of you working for that money. And guys, we're back at it once again with yet another video review. And today we're going to be talking about Sentinel Protocol. So first of all, guys, you know me, I like to invest into blockchain infrastructure, um, not so much dApps, but certain dApps. So what is a protocol, right? So we all know blockchain infrastructure, which is pretty much a blockchain network. Um, that is built to process data and or information. So right now we are using cryptocurrency as this sort of um, data information or exchange of ownership. Okay. So then we have dApps, also known as decentralized applications. Decentralized applications are pretty much a app that does not own its own network. So they need to be utilizing an already existing blockchain network. So something like, you know, Ethereum is the most common one with their ERC20 tokens. We also have NEO, Icon, you know, the list goes on, right? Any sort of blockchain network that's, that already exists, these dApps will have to be utilizing those because they don't have their own. And then we have protocols. So protocols is pretty much a infrastructure blockchain infrastructure but it is completely independent to its own okay um, it does not have the need or it does not it is not necessary for it to communicate with other blockchains it is just completely independent by itself so that's the definition of a protocol guys so sentinel protocol they want to address the cyber security risks we are currently facing within the cryptocurrency space guys okay every other week it seems as though there's a new hack scam or fraudulent activity or someone's account um, being compromised this is not something i would be investing into for a business move necessarily but more so for moral purposes and reasons but if sentinel protocol wants to address these areas i'm all for it guys i could relate to this i know this is a much needed area that needs to be addressed and a solution has to be made for this okay so i'm all for that so so yes, as I alluded to, Sentinel Protocol is a cybersecurity platform for the blockchain. Um, you know, they want to be incorporating a security feature called a decentralized threat reputation database, also known as DTRD. Um, this will be utilized by cybersecurity experts only. They would also have another security called collective intelligence and this could be supported by um the community so people who invest into sentinel protocol or any sort of exchanges and wallets that are utilizing the sentinel protocol as an extra layer of security they could also act as this collective intelligence guys so this is very cool features and we're going to dive a little bit more deeper into what they can offer this space also guys i want to talk about this is not going to be a security token this would have much more value and more use as a utility token within the sentinel project or the sentinel protocol okay guys so let's make that very clear they got huge partnerships lining up to name a few that are very popular we know the kyber network Okay, right here this is a decentralized exchange and we also know icon they are partnered up with these two well-known companies icon and kyber network and look it also goes on and on here this is another big one here softbank ventures korea so the team is made up of people from korea and singapore and these two nations are very are well educated on cryptocurrency so i find this is another area that is overlooked by investors um i like to invest into companies that are from a nation who are well educated on cryptocurrency okay um it just shows that they are more involved and they will take it a little bit more serious in my opinion okay so this is the official website sentinelprotocol.io i would definitely leave the link for the website at the bottom and also a link to their medium article that explains what sentinel protocol is about in full detail so here we go, what Sentinel Protocol provides. Sentinel Portal, so hacking incidents reporting, the Sentinels are rewarded for participation, okay? So as I just alluded to, they would have the cybersecurity experts and we would support them as the collective intelligence. And for participating as a Sentinel, we would be rewarded with um, upcoins. 
Okay, so S wallet uh, powered by machine learning. So filter scam addresses, URL and malware detects abnormal behavior. So this was this would all be done by a self-learning machine or an AI. Okay, so they would have AI technology also incorporated within this security protocol. Also distributed malware sandboxing, extensive testing simulations, augmented expertise, incentivized threat vector generation, guys. So sandboxing, this is another um, advanced sort of security layer as well, guys. Really cool stuff. So what is in Sentinel Protocol? So as I mentioned before, collective intelligence. All information can be made instantly transparent to individuals, exchanges, projects, um, security firms, governments, etc. And most importantly, it can be tracked within one system by all people around the world. So that's very similar to like say a block explorer where anyone, it's very transparent. Anyone could, could review this, could look at this and overview it as a collective intelligence. Very, very cool. Delegated proof of stake. This is a, this is what I'm noticing. A lot of these newer companies coming out on the blockchain, they are implementing it a, a delegated proof of stake. Artificial intelligence, machine learning technology that will be used in the client side Sentinel world to create model behaviors. It will recognize the suspicious behavior and calculate the probability of threat, thus blocking execution of the process. So this is a self-learning machine. Um, it has, it does not need any micromanaging, if not much micromanaging. Um, it will just automatically detect things um, with a pattern and be able to, um, you know, correct certain issues or notify the collective intelligence or the actual cybersecurity experts. Okay, guys. So we're going to look at the white paper, but we're not going to really. I'm not going to give an in-depth review on this ICO just because they don't really have the token mechanics out as yet. That information is not re yet released to the public, so I cannot do a full review on this. This is just pretty much an introductory review to um, present to you guys Sentinel Protocol and what they're trying to fix, okay? So this is not a full ICO review. So we're going to look at the white paper, guys, and we're going to look at some really cool examples here. But before we get to that, guys, I just want to say, imagine if certain wallets, like if you use a, um, I don't know, a blockchain wallet or an exodus wallet or um major exchanges like bittrex binance you know kucoin things of this nature if they start to use this sentinel protocol and adopt this this project could be huge and we we are noticing even binance announced binance chain so what happened with binance the other day was some accounts were compromised and people that are using autobots on their um exchange their accounts got hacked or compromised, whatever term you want to use, and the hackers were able to actually um, take money out of their account via API keys. And now we notice Binance made an announcement about Binance Chain, and they said, look, we're going to build a decentralized exchange called Binance Chain because we are realizing that hacking is becoming more widespread and more common and by having a decentralized exchange this would definitely protect you far 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 better than a centralized exchange that they currently are using but imagine if they incorporated the sentinel protocol and add these extra layers of security it will it will be impossible to hack okay guys so i am looking forward to the adoption of um exchanges and also um wallets Okay, guys, so let's take a look at the white paper briefly and go over a couple of terms here. They had a very cool example I would like to share with everybody. So let us check it out to English. And it was about here. Okay, so transaction traceability, right? So Hacker Malloy has a wallet of seized coins, which was hacked from many people. Prior to cashing, he distributes coins on a number of sub-addresses to avoid tracing. This is possible due to the nature of cryptocurrency wallet. Alice is one of Malloy's victims. As soon as Alice finds out her coins are stolen, she reports it to Sentinel Protocol. The Sentinels, a group of trusted security experts, confirms the incident and registers the case information into the threat reputation database. Sentinel Protocol will automatically track all sub-addresses derived from the original addresses registered. This will be shared to all crypto services including the exchanges that have integrated Sentinel Protocol. If Malloy tries conversion, the exchange's system that has already been notified receives a high priority alarm 
and it will cut off any chance of Hacker Malloy to make use of seized coins. It won't be easy for Alice to have the coins back since current judicial systems across international border does not help her much. If she lives in Europe, why sorry, if she lives in Europe while the cryptocurrency exchange is based in the States, Alice starts to actively promote her case and the advantage of using Sentinel Protocol in the hope of Sentinel Protocol having greater presence worldwide. One day Sentinel Protocol becomes as much as much influential as to replace the complex documentation and legal identity verification required by the Interpol to report hacking. Guys, that is so true. I mean, imagine if this situation was real, okay? This example was real. What, who do you have to report this to? Your local authorities. But this is, this is like an international database, right? So that process is going to be very, very long. Okay, Sentinel Protocol can take care of this. Expedite the paperwork. Expedite the actual recovery of the digital assets. This is a far more effective solution in my opinion, guys. So that is very cool stuff. Okay, guys, so let's take a quick look at their team. It would be right here. So about us, here we go. Patrick Kim, the founder of Upsella Foundation, got 7,218 Ether stolen in 2016 due to vulnerability in the Geth Mist wallet. So this guy wanted to make this technology happen based off of personal experience, okay? So here we go, Kim Patrick, founder and CEO. Um, I said before, the team is a mix of Koreans, South Koreans, and um, people from Singapore. So let's check it out. Patrick Kim. Right here, guys. So Upsala Foundation, Korea. You guys know who I love that nation, Korea, when it comes to cryptocurrency, okay? So let's go there. So guys, as I mentioned, once other information is released such as the token mechanics, I would do a full review on this ICO. So, you know, I recommend everybody comes to this site and do their own due diligence, okay? Once the token economics is released, I would do a full review on the ICO because that is a very, very, if not the most important part of an ICO, okay, guys? So, yeah, we could come here, check out the team. As, we, as I mentioned earlier, this team is compiled of South Koreans and people from Singapore, okay? So, you got Patrick Kim. He is the CEO. We got HM Park. Okay, he is also, well, he is actually the co-founder and head of operations, and the list goes on. Their LinkedIn link is here. You guys can come check it out, okay? Do your own research, guys. As in conclusion, Sentinel Protocol has a solution for the cybersecurity issues we are currently facing within the cryptocurrency space, and we have to admit it is almost becoming a crisis, all these hacks and um, frauds and scams and just accounts being compromised. So they have a solution by implementing a security feature called Threat Reputation Database. This will be updated and run by cybersecurity experts. So this layer of security would also have another security feature called Collective Intelligence. This feature would be run or supported by the community or token holders or any wallets and or exchanges that is using the Sentinel protocol. So this is very similar to a block explorer or a public ledger. Anyone could, could view the data within this feature. Okay, guys, look, cybersecurity is definitely an issue that needs to be addressed. If Sentinel Protocol has this software that's going to fix that, I am all about this, guys. I am definitely going to be investing into this ICO. As I mentioned, the token economics is not yet released. So once that is available to the public, I would make another video. It's your boy, The Crypto Lifestyle, coming back at you once again, giving you guys the latest of the latest and hopefully the latest of the greatest. So we went over everything about Sentinel Protocol and they ain't really much left to say. Other than, until the next video, you're on your own.